existence. Number one, dwelling in sadness. Do you often find yourself dwelling on your negative experiences and the sadness they've caused you? We're not saying that bad experiences should just roll off your shoulders. In fact, reflecting for a healthy period of time is great and can actually make you happier. But in your everyday life, when you can't bring yourself to let go and move on from something minor, you end up holding on to anger and sadness more than you need to. This leads to lingering resentment and bitterness, which shows in your behaviors as well. Two, overthinking. Have you ever sat in bed stewing over an event over and over and over again? Maybe replaying it in your head a few too many times, trying to gain a new insight or feel a different way? Overthinking happens to the best of us. But in chronically unhappy people, this sort of pattern can easily become a habit. When we negatively overthink, we run the risk of distorting a situation in a way that sends unnecessary alarms through our body and mind. This can lead your temperament to take a turn for the worse. Going back and overanalyzing past situations can leave us with a sinking feeling that can just make us unhappier. When someone shoulders too much of what they cannot single-handedly control, they may prohibit themselves from being happy with their own lives. Number three, thinking negatively. When things are going well, do you relax? or does it make you feel oddly on edge? When you succeed, do you let yourself enjoy it? Those who are chronically unhappy tend to approach situations and life in general with a negative point of view. Studies show they may often feel dissatisfied with what they have and even fear the feeling of happiness. While this dissatisfaction and negative outlook may not be a conscious choice, recognizing it in yourself can help save you from so much unhappiness in the future. In a world filled with so much uncertainty, it's natural to want to stay on your toes, but too much pessimism can get in the way of your happiness. Number four, isolating themselves. Do you find yourself staying inside longer than you need to? Are you often one to cancel plans or remove yourself from social situations? According to Dr. Travis Bradbury from HuffPost, chronically unhappy people tend to give in to the temptation of avoiding others. Oftentimes, when we aren't happy, hanging out with people doesn't sound too appealing, but long-term isolation can increase the risks of mental health issues such as depression. Five, bottling up emotions. When you get upset, do you keep your feelings in? If so, do they mess with your mood? Bottling up emotions, especially over a long period of time, is a habit of chronically unhappy people because by keeping it in, they don't give themselves a chance to heal from what they're feeling. Expressing emotions can seem daunting, but it helps you lighten your burdened mindset, giving you a freeing sensation. Number six, getting insufficient sleep. Let's talk about sleep. Do you wake up tired in the morning? Do you sleep at different times each night? While none of this is uncommon, it can actually be a major factor in your happiness. A 2018 study from South Korea explains that poor sleep quality by itself is enough to negatively impact your life satisfaction and well-being. Sleep quality can encompass a lot, but it mostly refers to how well you sleep through the night. Number seven, comparing themselves to others. And this is a hard one because comparisons are so easy to make in our daily lives. Whenever you get a test back, start a job or go on social media, it's only natural to want to look around and see how you measure up. But when we compare ourselves to others, we accidentally diminish our own success. We all have different likes and dislikes, strengths and weaknesses. So to determine your success based on someone else leaves you with a lot of room for unnecessarily criticizing yourself, which more often than not leaves you feeling sad. And number eight, overworking themselves. Are you a workaholic? Do you spend days at a time working at your desk? Not giving yourself enough time to rest Relax and take a break can actually contribute to chronic unhappiness. According to an article from Passport Health, studies around the world cite overworking as a common precursor to depression, anxiety, and unhealthy habits, such as poor food choices. But that's not all. People who overwork themselves are prone to more stress and burnout, both of which can have detrimental effects on your mood. We hope we were able to give you a little insight into some of the habits that chronically unhappy people have. Did you relate to any of these habits? Let us know in the comments below.
If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with someone who might benefit from it too. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.